hello you are welcome how to solve this nice olympiad algebra math problem that is a square minus b square is equal to 9 a times b is equal to 20 so here we will try to find the value of a plus b now here first of all let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second now first of all we will take square on equation number one so let us take equation number one that is a square minus b square is equal to 9 so let us take square on both sides now here in the left hand side you use a famous algebraic identity a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times a b so this will become a square whole square plus b square all square minus 2 times a square b square is equal to 9 square is 80 over so this will become a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 plus sorry minus 2 times here we will take the square common so it will become a b raised to power 2 is equal to 81 now here we will substitute the value of a b from equation number 2 that is 20 so this will become raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 minus 2 times value of a b is 20 square is equal to 81 next we will replace 20 square with its value that is 400 so this will become a square plus sorry a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 minus the value of 20 square is 400 and 400 times 2 is 800 is equal to 81 next we will move this minus 81 to the right hand side so it will become plus 81 so this will become a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 is equal to it will become positive 800 so 800 plus 81 is 881 now let us suppose this is equation number third now my dears here we will use a positive algebraic identity so here in the next step we will use this one positive algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b so here we will replace this a with a square and this b with b square in the whole equation so this will become a square plus b square whole square is equal to it will become a square whole square plus b square whole square plus 2 times a square b square now next it will become here it will become a raised to power 4 plus it will become b raised to power 4 plus and again from here we will take the 2 the square common so it will become 2 times a b whole square now here we will substitute the values of a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 from equation number third that is 881 and a b from equation number 2 which is 20 so this will become its value is 881 plus 2 times the value of a b is 20 whole square so next it will become 881 plus again 20 square is 400 and 400 times 2 is 800 now by adding these two numbers we will get 1681 so the value of a square plus b square whole square will become 1681 a square plus b square whole square is equal to 1681 now here we will take square root on both sides so let us take square root on both sides of this equation 
here this is a perfect square number so we'll change it to a square form so we can write 1681 as 41 square so in both sides the square and the square root will be cancelled so it will become a square plus b square is equal to it will become plus minus 40 over now here again we will use the positive algebraic identity a plus b whole square in this equation so this will become the identity is a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b now here we will substitute the values of a square plus b square from here and the value of a b which is 20 and which is given in the question so this will become its value is plus minus 41 the value of a b is 20 plus minus 41 and it is 40 so there are two values of a plus b whole square a plus b whole square one one value is plus 41 plus 40 and the second value is a plus b whole square is equal to minus 41 plus 40 now we will solve these two equations separately here to find the value of a plus b whole square so the first equation is a plus b square is equal to 40 plus 41 which is 81 now here we will take square square root on both sides so here in the left hand side this square and this square root will be cancelled so only a plus b will be left here and it will become plus minus 9 now we will take square root on both sides which is a plus b whole square is equal to minus 41 plus 40 which is equal to minus 1 so a plus b whole square is minus 1 so again we will take square root on both sides so it will become a plus b is equal to square root of minus 1 is a famous complex identity iota i so here we have three solutions of a b the first one solution is a plus b is equal to 9 this is our first solution the second solution is a plus b is equal to minus 9 and the third solution is a plus b is equal to iota so here these two are the real solutions and this is the complex solution now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching